All right, guys, uh, here we go. Uh, another video, nice uh, setup here for uh, Meta coming up. Uh, Meta last week reporting earnings. Uh, today is February the 5th, by the way. It's a Sunday uh, night and I uh, created this video for you guys, um, those of you who trade Facebook. Uh, new symbol, Meta. Last week, explosive move out of the 150. Uh, those of you who've been following the trade since I believe uh, last year, uh, you guys recall how uh, we have defined a couple of clusters areas where the prices were going to hold. Uh, one of the prices that we were looking for was the, for the uh, 150. And then eventually it became that 125. There was a flush, remember after uh, September, I think it was right around September earnings, uh, when it really, it really um, killed the stock and sent it to the 80s under 100 bucks. Uh, but as you recall, I mentioned to you guys this beautiful trend that started it right after uh, we have this very nice consolidation that in 2014 and 2015, and we held this 80 box on uh, on Meta. And since then, we haven't actually looked at those prices again. And this was the move uh, that took us way above those 220 bucks coming 2020, uh, 18, 20, I mean, 2022, so excuse me. So what happened now is you are now, uh, right, in the levels uh, where this is stock uh, from the last signal that we were able to see those prices on the 80 bucks, you have moved to the 300 and plus, 380 bucks, and now we're back at the $80. So this was a great opportunity. I, I know people who actually are still long the stock from the 85 average um, um, on the stock. So looking at it today, uh, the question arose, um, that was coming through a um, couple of emails was, uh, will we see those levels again? Well, as of right now, I highly doubt it. I mean, this was a pretty strong move. You guys saw probably uh, if you read and um, listened to the um, conference call uh, with the buyback that they are initiating and other things, cutting costs that the company is doing. Uh, I don't think we're going to see the 80 bucks again, you know, but uh, chances are, we might get a retracement, right? This huge gap that we just printed about 30 bucks from 150 to the 180. I believe the high on Thursday was 197. Uh, let me look. Uh, somewhere around that 196, uh, the high uh, that we got on, on Thursday after earnings. So what you should do when see this type of moves is play it along. I mean, you can go ahead and uh, if you're expecting this market to pull back at the end of the day, uh, you want to have some mechanism of giving you a couple of entries and exits for the trade. So if you are trading a directional, right, I would go long this market right on the 170s. You see that the 618 uh, Fibonacci, and uh, this will be from the bottom of the earnings play all the way to the top, to the 196 so far. 50% of that is right around the 174, uh, 175 level. So we'll see if this next week we're going to see a pullback uh, in the stock and probably give us an opportunity to jump on it. I do have a couple of trades that I want to put on. Uh, let me give you a couple of things that I'm looking at here. I have them ready to go. One of them is 42 days out uh, all the way to March. Uh, and I want, you, I want to see if this stock is going to pull to the 165 and let me buy the stock or go with a put spread. So I have a PCS here for about $1.81. I will probably sell it much, much higher. This is the price as of Friday. But if Meta pulls back, let's say, to the 180, 175 level, uh, you can sell this 165 maybe for $3 uh, and above. Easy for about 3 bucks. I also have the February just with 12 days to go so that I can play with premium and uh, theta. And that will be the 170, 165. This is a $5 spread. And I'm looking to collect, again, maybe about 80 cents, 90 cents. This will be sold probably by Tuesday. I will post it in the room once uh, I uh, execute this order. So this is my plan when it comes to put credit spreads. Those of you trading the stock as its own, what I would love to tell you is you have this you know, huge move. I mean, everybody knows huge move from the 150s to the 180s. Uh, if you are going to short the stock, just be careful because we've seen a lot of buyers stepping up on Monday, uh, Friday, excuse me, last Friday, right at this 184. And if you look, that was the same opening that we had on Thursday. So Thursday of, uh, and Friday, both days, very strong move, very strong buying. Of course, late uh, in the day, you know, some 
probably a ringing of the register for some retails pushing the stock back to the open so overall on the weekly basis if you look at the chart uh, still look pretty healthy uh, what I would love to see if we can pull at least like I said a 50% of this give us an entry start playing with PCS or directionals if you guys play with directional uh, calls on the stock go with the 175 call if you see if you get that 175 for March or for uh, April right if you're playing zero uh, not zero DTEs but like the five DTEs seven DTEs for weeklies uh, be very careful just be very very careful with this uh, uh, me meta because when it pulls back though it gives you sometimes like a three four dollar move in the opposite direction so if you're looking for a, a, a good play your entry has to be almost almost perfect one thing that I want to note and and I want to display here in the video is that remember when we drop back in September the uh, the area that we were playing with it was a pretty well defined area of balance right and that area area of balance was right here right on that 173 to the 158 I recall 159 level and we were buying and selling puts back then naked puts some of us we did get exercise and we got out at a loss a small loss like a three bucks five dollar losses but if you pull back from this 197 to the 80 I mean 175 area this is what I want to establish and I start creating my PCS I think this will create some opportunity in the market for the next leg up uh, on meta okay so I'll be sending you guys a couple of alerts if uh, you guys are not part of the group yet and would like to join our uh, chat uh, you can join at uh, carlosmolina.io it's right there on the video uh, and just join our uh, group uh, discord uh, we have a lot of stuff that we try here it's including futures uh, stocks options and uh, spx options as well mm -hmm.